Welcome to our tutorial about setting a time limit. We're going to pick up where we left off in our previous tutorial. Here we'll learn how to use a time object to create a time limit. Let's delete all of this code here and go to design view. Let's change the text property of this label to a quiz. Let me reposition my second label now. I'll change the font property. Maybe size 10. OK. And let's change the text property. We'll ask a question. Let's resize the box, something like this. We're going to use a text box where the user will enter the answer to my question. Let's call it txt1. And let's modify button1. We'll name it btn next. We'll change the text property as well so that the caption reads next. Let's move button 2. We'll label it Reset. And let's adjust our first label a little. OK, let's set the interval for our timer. For example, 5 seconds. That's 5,000 milliseconds. Now let's write some code. Double click on timer 1. We'll give it a message box. Open quotation, you're out of time. And let's add that apostrophe here. Next line, txt1 dot enabled equals false. btn next dot enabled also equals false. And the last line here, timer1 dot period there we go enabled equals false. OK, let me just explain what I've done here. After 5 seconds, the user will see the message, you're out of time. At that point, both the next button and the text box for entering an answer will be grayed out. The enabled property of timer1 will be assigned a false property. OK, let's write some code for button 2's click event procedure. That's the reset button. First, txt1 period enabled equals true. Same thing for the next button. btn next dot enabled equals true. And finally, for timer1, timer1 dot enabled equals true. Now let's run our program and see how it works. We can count to five or just wait. Here's my message. You're out of time. I click OK. The next button is grayed out. Same with the text box. And I can reset both by clicking Reset. We get another five seconds and then the same message. You're out of time. Now the next button and the text box are both grayed out again. And this concludes our tutorial on setting time limits.